Hey everyone, I'm giving a little virtual tour here of the, the new restaurant site. Uh, it's on May 28th in the evening. Right across the street here you see my car. There's about 10 parking spots over there that belong to us. They're going to be for customer use. And this is our storefront, that sign. Those three windows are going to be gold foil painted logo. This is all going to be patio for our use only. We've got our door knocked out. They need to put the door in, hopefully soon. The concrete's going to get poured here. We'll have room for about five tables, about 20 people sitting out there. So construction has been moving along. They got their trash piled up here. Uh, you walk in, we got this hardwood finish on that right side, uh, leading up to that wall right there. Um, trash is going to be right there. There's going to be a trash receptacle, recycling, all that. And then on this side, we got that same hardwood on a bench that flows right into this stadium seating type thing uh, where people can just sit on any of the three levels there, wait for their food. It's kind of a, a feature point of interest. This wall is going to be custom painted by Doug Aldrich. Um, does a lot of design work. He's from Syracuse, I believe, and works out of Brooklyn now. He's gonna do this wall over here as well. On the floor here, you can see the, the floor changes colors right along this line here. Um, in the gray area, where all the trash is. The long-term plan is to have a community table here. It's a little bigger, probably not the best thing to have that during COVID. So we're gonna start out with just a few tables spread out in that area and keep it clear here for the door. As you walk in, we've got another booth seating area, room for four tables in here. Uh, it's a little bit separated. Um, just give it a little sense of privacy there. There's gonna be tables on the floor throughout this whole area where all the construction materials are. So seating inside, uh, the capacity is about 60 people. So that's double what we have currently. Off of this column, uh, as we walk here, it's gonna follow the same angle. There will be a 14 foot bar height table, 14 feet long, not high. <laughs> that's gonna just travel along here and down. So that kind of forms this, um, this line where People walk in the front door and they walk straight back. This cooler you see under the rag there, that is going to be our dessert cooler. It's got the glass bakery case up top. And on the front, it's just a grab, grab and go cooler. You just reach in and grab your, your stuff. That'll be right in this gap here in the counter. So that's just big enough where that thing can slide in. It'll be flush with the counter and um, be like the focal point when people walk in. That's what they're going to see as they walk towards the, the service line. Service line will go around this way. As they get over here, you can see on the wall there's a couple outlets. That's where the digital menu signs will go. So our menu is going to be hung up there on these screens where um, we can change it as it needs to be changed and just update it, have it look pretty sleek all the time. Countertop will go along here, actually, I think either tomorrow or, <clears throat> excuse me, early next week, they're gonna be putting in the countertop. Um, this will be the main order counter, eventually an espresso machine in this area as well. And then as we go around this side, there'll be room for a second register. Second register to handle volume or to handle uh, pickup orders. That will be the primary use of it most of the time. So customers coming in for pickup orders can walk in the door, come on straight back, and butt in front of this pole, go right over to the pickup counter. And they do that instead of waiting in line to place an in-house order. 
this gap right here is going to be just cabinets for a little bit of storage. And on top of that, we're gonna have condiments and a water bottle fill station. So uh, we can have the glasses right up here um, or hand them to the customers, depending on, on what we decide there. And they fill up their water fresh from a filtered water source. So that is basically the front of the house. We're putting in ceilings now. Well, that's pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna put the rest of the tiles in once all the other work is done. Uh, these guys have been installing tile. Just today this came in. This whole wall is going to be tile as well as that whole wall over there. So looking behind the service line, there's just gonna be tile wall on both sides. This back counter, we've got plenty of storage. There's storage all along in these cupboards. We got storage on either side of that cooler. These cabinets all along where the registers and espresso is gonna be and close storage on the back. So it might be a little while before we can fill all that, but we got room to grow there. Um, merchandise like apparel and stuff might be back here. We've got to place all that, but we have plenty of room to work with as far as putting stuff up on the wall. I'll take a detour right now. Bathrooms, we got got to go in here. It's got these automatic lights, tile wall, the old pooper, and these are just going to be um, single person bathrooms. They're genderless, just available for first one open, first one who needs it, first come, first serve. Hit it up, two of those. Okay, so along this back wall, this is where all of our coffee equipment, some other things are gonna be. Um, we'll have a bin in this counter that stores ice. So we fill it from the ice cooler. It just is where we store the ice and it drains out as it melts. Um, coffee brewer is gonna be on top of here. There's gonna be an under counter fridge for milks and drinks and other little things like that. There will be another under counter fridge that will house, um, what do you call it? Uh, we're gonna have cold brew in a keg so that we can have a tap on the counter. That'll be up here. Coffee grinder, coffee machine. We've got a soup kettle, a toaster, and just other little necessities back here. This door right here is maybe hard to imagine now, but it, this isn't a door that opens. Uh, you can open the bottom half of the door so that it, the door stops at about here, the bottom half, and you have just a pass-through counter. So there's still some division between the kitchen and the front of the house, but there's a little counter to pass food through. Alternatively, we can open both the top and the bottom of the door and just have full walk through to the kitchen. There's the other door to the kitchen over here. This will be a full door, double action swing. Uh, one of those, you just kind of kick it and go through. This is the kitchen in all of its glory. Not put together yet, but it's uh, it's ready for the hood to be installed, that's the big thing. See all these uh, green tags up here, that's where the hood is going to go. And we've got part of the hood installed over there, the makeup air. Uh, we're waiting on the fire permit for that, should be any day now, and then Guy Remington can come and put that thing in. That's a little bit of a project, but once he gets that done, the contractor can finish up the ceiling up in here. Uh, once the ceiling is in place, the hood is in place, our equipment can be delivered and the plumber and electrician can make sure all that is hooked up. So starting on the right wall here, you walk in past the bathrooms into the kitchen, a uh, full dish counter, like an L shape. Dishwasher right here. It's a big inline, huge dishwasher, hand sink. You got a prep sink, three base sink. 
uh, ice machine over here, and we already have the mop sink in. I think that water's running, let's check. Nope, not yet. Where the wall is not covered here. So we got the, the plastic wall covering. I forget what the stuff is actually called. Um, that kind of outlines the height of the hood, the, or I'm sorry, the walk-in. The walk-in cooler is gonna go along that area and come out. So we'll have freezer on the left, cooler on the right. We'll be able to get right into those. And this wall is where all the cooking equipment is gonna go with the cold line on the left here, just opposite of the, the cooking equipment. This wall over here is a milkshake station. There will be a, a double door cooler prep sink on a, built into a table so we can rinse out the blenders right over here. And the ice cream freezer is making the journey over here. We have the office right next to the, the blenders. They're doing a little bit of work on the electric here, I hope. That, yeah, I think they're waiting on the panel to come in, but we've got this 400 amp service coming in. They're getting ready to hook everything in as it needs to be. And we just got a little office to sit and do some work. We've been putting in the ceiling there today. So as we go out the back door here, take a look at the back side of the building. This is uh, off of Fayette Street. Um, there's a small parking lot in the back of the building where this is like uh, resident parking mostly. We'll have a little doorbell on the back here for vendors. Vendors will deliver to the back only. And this is where we'll take our trash out. Trash is right in that uh, fenced in area there. We've got this little patch of grass and we got the side sidewalk going up to the patio on the other end. And this is going to be our new home. We're looking a few weeks out now. It depends on the hood, really. It's the thing that's going to hold things up. If we can get that in, everything else falls into place. They've got a little painting to do. Uh, the ceiling, the walls, the bathroom. And then we'll be able to start moving in and getting ready. Really looking forward to getting in here, getting all of you in here, making this come to life. Talk to you all later.